to the jury, whatever it is, whether it's guilty or not guilty. Uh, when the verdict is received, you cannot express any emotions or do anything that would denigrate or devalue the verdict of the jury. So what is good emotion, yay, screaming, yes or no, or if it's a verdict that you don't want, uh, whichever side of the verdict you signed on, you have to respect the verdict of the jury. Can I show an emotion when the verdict is published in the courtroom? Um, you've been patient all week. Been patient for 12 years. Ms. Turner's been very patient for five years. Um, last time when the sex state problems, Turner told me he's anxious to have his day in court um, because he's waited a long time for his trial. I have no idea what the verdict is. We will receive it at the same time. I'll read it before I publish it, but I will know the verdict when I get the jacket from the jury. And please make sure to respect the court's rule and respect the verdict of the jury and do not show any emotion, yay or nay, or celebrate or groaning. It would not be respected for that jury, and I cannot allow no one to disrespect the verdict of the jury. Deputy Smith, can you bring the jury, please, sir? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone can be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, Deputy Smith is reporting to me that you have indicated you've all reached a unanimous verdict on this case and all three counts of indictment. Is that correct? Do any of your members indicate you did not reach a unanimous verdict? Let the record reflect that all, ladies and gentlemen, the jury indicate they have, in fact, reached a unanimous verdict on this case. Um, this is the fourth person. Can you hand a jacket, Deputy Smith, for me, please, sir? This is Dillary Turner. Stand please, sir. <clears throat> this verdict reads as follows. The State of Tennessee versus Dillary Turner, document number 170581, count one, first degree murder. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of first-degree murder as charged in count one of the indictment, count two, conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. The verdict reads as follows. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder as charged in count two of the indictment, count three, criminal attempt first-degree murder. The verdict reads as follows. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of criminal attempt first-degree murder as charged in count three of the indictment. And this verdict and jacket is signed by the fourth person of the jury, by the foreman, rather, of the jury. Sir, you're going to have a seat, please, sir. I'm not going to call you by name. I'm going to go by the number in which you're seated in the jury box. Starting on the end, juror number one, is this your verdict now? Uh, juror number two, is this your verdict now? Juror number three, is this your verdict, sir? Yes. Juror number four, is this your verdict, ma'am? Yes. Jury number five, is this your verdict, sir? Yes, sir. Juror number eight, is this your verdict, sir? Yes, sir. 
jury number in number nine out of four of my other jury is this for personal jury. I apologize. This is your verdict, sir. Uh, jury number 10 is this your verdict now? Jury number 11 is this your verdict now? Jury number 12 is this your verdict now? Jury number 13 is this your verdict, sir? Yes. And lastly, juror number 14, is this your verdict now? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to conclude your service. You've had a very long eight days. Um, well, this is about one day, March 4th, when I first saw you at um, the jury assembly room. When you showed up with about 200 of your fellow Shelby Countyans. And I told you that you're going to be on a page that I couldn't talk to you about. I told you not to read anything, not to look at anything. And I told you it would take about seven days to ten, seven to ten days to try this case. It took eight days uh, from Monday to Monday uh, to try the case, and it's asking a lot of you uh, to tell you you're going to be sequestered, we're not be able to stay with your family, we're not be at your job, and we're going to take you away from all of those comfort creatures, take your phone from you, and told you that when you got here on Monday, when you got on Tuesday morning, rather, that you could guess the Shelby County and that you could not go home until this verdict My has sister. been received, whatever the verdict is. You My could have given me a million sister. reasons as to why Judge Crawford, this is really not a good idea. You could have said a lot of silly things like some people did in some of those questionnaires as to why trying a case would not be a good idea. It is the trial system that we have in this country is the best system in the world. I don't apologize for you. I don't won't tell you that it's absolutely the best thing. If I were made king of jury trials and some things, I would change. But it's absolutely the best system in the world. It is not perfect. I would not tell you it's perfect. Uh, it is flawed. But folks like you, when you receive a silence and 15 of you uh, have heard this trial for a week, seven, eight days, and 12 of you decide this case, it is asking a lot of you, and on behalf of the great volunteer state of Tennessee, the four and a half million citizens of the state, all the persons, all the parties involved in this case, Mr. Um, Billy Turner, Mr. John Perry, Andre Thomas, Mr. Turner, Mr. Paul Hagerman, Mr. Austin Schofield for the state, um, on behalf of all of the family members of Lorenzo Wright, I'm um, Deborah Young.